what's your name don't remember where we met we met but what i do recall is the shit you put me through but not you The scars that we prove that it's true And the ones that bleed Remind me Of the war that we went through Maybe I need Maybe I need Some therapy To bring back the sweet memory Baby, I'm glad The good times faded
Now let me explain, see, I'm not trying to take you down, I'm trying to take away pain. Try my best to refrain from being the same as all these other low lowlifes that probably don't remember your name. And all your exes sitting left, I'm trying to home run. Trying to make you happy, make a difference in the long run. So trust me when I say I'm swollen shut. I'm spilling out my heart because you opened up and now I'm going dumb when we touch. Yeah, I'm not saying that we're picture perfect, but I'm saying that we fit proportion. I'm showing you that we're more than love because of lust, not hidden behind the curtain. I'm telling all the facts, don't ask me because I'm certain. It's certain we both come from her place. But you don't have to tell yourself that that's the reason why we're in relation I'm just trying to see a smile on your face and make this chapter permanent, no need to change your pages smile on your face you always say i'm changing but i only change the pace you're following your dreams and i know i do the same but see lately you're the only thing i'm needing that i chase and i hate the fact that you only listen to what they say i've never been the type to listen now they hit the replay it's funny how these things happen never had a delay because everything i'm seeing comes to life and i'll see fake i only see the real and you probably why i fell in i'm writing all these letters you would think that i'm a felon i'm going crazy always buying what you're selling and yeah i know i'm stubborn i hear nothing like i'm helling but once I make it, you'll have everything you want. I'll put you at the top when I get on. Yeah, I just want to put the queen of buddy's pawns and carry out the story when you're gone. All right, everybody, let's get the show on the road then. Hope you guys are having a great day. It is, uh, what's the date today? Where are we? Are we in July? It's the 19th of July. Silvio's in the house. What's up, Silvio? It's my radio voice. Hope you guys are having a great day. Let's, let's get talking. Let's get to it. Let's get smart. Boom, boom. All right, let's get into this. Who's in the chat? Silvio's in the chat. What's up, Silvio? Javi's in the chat. What's up, Javi? Baron's in the chat. Oh, here we go. The chat is blowing up. Phrasal verb of the day, blowing up. Getting crazy. Uh, who else is in it? Asadula. Hello. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Lolly's in the house. Hello, Lolly. Camilla's in the house. Being cool. Being herself. Love it. Rafael's in the house. Big hug to you, big buddy. Big bear hug for you. Brazilians like hugs. Lucas is in the house. What's up, Lucas? Rafael's in the house. What's up, Rafael? Uh oh. Man, that's going to be tough for me to pronounce. Busy. I'm going to call you Busy. Your new nickname is Busy. So, nicknames are a big thing that I like to do with my students. It kind of lightens up the, the mood. So, give yourself a cool nickname. It, it helps. It's an awesome thing. All right. Yeah. So, Busy. Like it? Busy. Stay busy, Busy. And there we go. Ciro's in the house. Ciro, got to tell you again, man. Good evening. From Italy. Oh, sorry, good not good evening. Good night. No, wait. You did correct it. I'm screwing it up. Sorry, Ciro. You're doing you're, you're killing it right now. You're killing it. Good evening from Italy. That's the correct answer. I'm the one who's lost. Losing my smartness, losing my brain. That's cool. It happens. What's the topic for today, Baran? The topic for today is cool nicknames, as we've just discussed. Busy is a cool nickname. 
And the other topic today is crime. So we're going to be jumping into that. As you can see, there's some police tape going on over there because there is some serious crime that happened over there. So we're going to be talking about that today. So I've given you the document as usual. It's there. That's what it looks like. We're going to be talking about crime today. Uh, and we're going to be getting into different types of crimes. We might, uh, if we have time, we're going to be doing some idioms. We'll see about that. But we'll also be looking, doing a little research, and you'll be learning about your own country and what kind of crimes are going on there. So let's let's warm this warm this sucker up, and uh, let's talk about crimes. No, a happen. Let's fix that up. So here's the question of the day: What types of crimes happen in your country? Hmm. You're from this country. These crimes happen. You're from this country. These crimes happen. Tell us a little bit about, give us some cultural cultural insight. Boom, the word of the day, cultural insight. What kind of crimes happen in your country? Um, are they, you know, is it street crime? Is it uh, robbery, muggings? Right? This is what we're going to talk about today. Uh, I'll, I'll get her going. Let's uh, start it up. So Canada, what's some crime? I saw a very funny photo one time. Let me see if I can find it. It was my Mexican roommate sent me this one, and it was really funny. It was called Canadian Vandalism. Where did it go? This one. This is my favorite ever. <laughs> Love it. I hope you guys can see that. It says, this is, this is vandalism. Like when you, when you destroy public property, it, this is what happens in Canada. This is the pol what the police found. Your mom is a nice lady. Your father is proud of you. <laughs> That's awesome. That's Canadian vandalism at its, at its maximum. Here's another one, Canadian vandalism. You're so beautiful. Oh my God, I can't believe they wrote that and destroyed the toilet. Uh, oh, that's a low one. Okay, but anyway, so there you go. There's a good example of Canadian vandalism. We're, we're, not, that, uh, we're not that dangerous, I think. I think we're not dangerous. So let's do that. Um, what are typical crimes that happen in your country? Uh, a lot of the international students that, that, that roll up to Canada that are hanging out here, Sometimes there's some like some bag stealing, right? When they're they're hanging out in Starbucks or studying like good students do, and all of a sudden somebody snatches. There's a good word for you. I'm gonna put that in the list. Snatches your bag. So snatches like grab. Somebody like a purse snatcher or someone snatches your bag while you're studying. So it's kind of like grab. Uh, that's one thing that happens. Um, other crimes, yeah, you know. So in Canada, maybe you know this, maybe you don't know this, but at the moment. Marijuana is technically illegal. You shouldn't be smoking it. You shouldn't be selling it, of course. Uh, but October, maybe this is a good time for tourism for you guys. In October, the plan, I believe the plan, is to legalize marijuana. So let's, let's Google that and let's see what's going on here. Legalization, Canada. What's the plan? What's happening? So there it is, very controversial for some people, but we also have medical marijuana. Uh, marijuana to be legal in Canada starting October 17th. Justin Trudeau, the man with great socks, you've seen him. He's confirmed it. This is what's going to be happening. Marijuana to be legal in Canada starting October 17th. Trudeau confirms it. Who's that guy? I don't know who those guys are. Get out of here. Recreational marijuana. There's a new word for you. Recreational meaning for fun, right? So let me add that to our list uh, later. Let's finish this article. Will be officially become legal in Canada on October 17, 2018, the Prime Minister announced on Wednesday afternoon, Justin Trudeau confirmed, checked, right, uh, uh, kind of agreed, confirmed the long-awaited, like people were waiting for a long time, the long-awaited start date during question period in Ottawa, ending months of speculation, talking, 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 what's going to happen, surrounding when precisely Canadians will be able to purchase and consume the drug legally. Boom. So that's what's happening in Canada. Big news in Canada is the decriminalization of marijuana. Word of the day is decriminalization. Boom. In your face. Uh, not illegal anymore. So that's some news from, from Canada to you. That's what's going on. Maybe a good time for tourism in Canada in October. If you're going to be in the area, stop by, say hello. Could be interesting. Uh, let's see what you guys have to say about this. So again, let me let me put this in the chat because I'm not really doing a good job of keeping it on the screen. The question of the day is, what types of crime, what types of crimes happen in your country? This is the question of the day. It's in the chat. Please participate. Join us. Tell us what you think, and let's talk about it.
So, there we go. What do we got here? Sylvia says bank robberies. Okay, so again, bank robbery, you know, you rob a bank, you can rob a store, you can rob a bank, so we call it bank robberies. Uh, so I'm going to put that, I'm going to put this one here. I'm going to put it here because I want to put it in a separate category. So a robbery, for example, a bank robbery or a store. So these are all going to be nouns, probably. So let's just keep it like that. Uh, and again, give us some more information, right? Yep, snatch is the word. Uh, crime doesn't pay. Good expression, Lolly. You're right. Unless you're really good at it, then I think it does pay. But let's let's keep it positive and and uh, decriminal, not criminal here. Crime doesn't pay means there's no benefit to doing crime. Okay, crime doesn't pay. That would be a uh, collocation because we can understand it, we know what it means. Stop doing that. Crime doesn't pay, no benefit to doing crime. Okay. Um, Daniel, stolen drugstore with a gun. You cannot steal a drugstore, it's too big, Daniel, but I think what you wanna say is rob, and the word is rob a drugstore. Um, so criminals sometimes rob, they go to the store, they pull out a gun, they pull out a knife, and they rob the store. So rob is like steal. Yeah, it's like steal. Okay, so there we go. So robbing drug stores is a common activity. I've seen some I've seen some videos, <laughs> some pretty crazy videos about Brazil, some stuff that happens on the st on the streets even while people are driving. Oh my god. Some crazy crazy stuff going on there sometimes. Uh, what else we got? Um, Silvio, this is something that will happen, happen no s in or maybe no in will happen all around the world. Yeah, I agree. Bank robbery. I mean, bank robberies. I think they're less common than they used to be, right? Back in the day, because you know we have security guards with guns and more police downtown. There's other ways to steal these days, right? There's probably a bunch of new crimes out there that we don't talk about, like you know cryptocurrency crime or something like that. Do you guys know about the deep internet? I don't even know if I should say it. The dark web. Have you ever heard about this? It's basically the idea is that if this is the internet, there's a huge area under the internet where people like do business and stuff. It's called the dark web. I don't recommend going there unless you need a new kidney or some body part or something like that. I've heard some crazy stories. Check it out for yourself. Don't trust me. I might not know what I'm talking about, but go ahead and investigate it for yourself. The dark web. All right, let's see what else we got here. Anderney, hello from Brazil. Hello, Anderney. Well, come on in, join us. We're talking about crime and what are the kinds of crimes. Busy, what did you say here? Yeah, that's right. No, 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 no. I agree with you, busy. I always agree with you, busy. Keep it busy. Uh, this is a big crime in Brazil. Yeah, Daniel, crime, no S there. Hello from Kurdistan. Andazir, and uh, Andazir. Oh, sorry, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to call you Andy because I'm going to destroy your name otherwise. So, Andy it is. Busy in Canada, yeah, you know, I talked about it before. Marijuana is one thing where people are still divided on, right? Some people are like, oh, yeah, it's okay. And some people are like, no, it's still illegal. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, <laughs> corruption crime. So good. There we go. Not good, but good word. Uh, corruption is a, yeah, I believe, I don't, usually there's different kinds of corruption, but you can think of corruption as when, um, when, you know, for example, in Brazil, politicians are maybe taking money or doing favors. They're, they shouldn't do that, but they are doing that. You know, like, oh, give me some money and you can go cut down some trees over there. That might be something that happens, right? So corruption. And again, Canada, we have it too. Everybody's got corruption. Presidents, politicians, some people take some money, do a little back scratching, little quid pro quo, you know, a little Latin for you. Uh, there you go. So it happens everywhere. Blackmail. There we go. There's another one. There's a type of crime. What is blackmail? So basically, if you don't give me $100, I will share this terrible photo of you and put it all over the internet. That's blackmail. It's kind of like threatening someone. So the, yeah, that's definitely one as well. What else we got here? Fraud. I don't really understand fraud, so I'm going to have to Google fraud because there's different types of fraud. So let's look at fraud as a definition. Fraud. Like fake, right? Okay, so wrongful criminal deception intended to result in financial 
for personal gain. Okay, so there you go. Uh, cheating, swindling, and usually you get money or some advantage from fraud. We have identity fraud, right, with credit cards and stuff like that where you like steal somebody's identity and then you go spend, 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 do all that money there. That's one thing that happens. Uh, cool, so we do have fraud. That's uh, one type of crime. What else we got here? Baran, I will rob the bank, but I'm afraid of the police. Baran, don't rob the bank. Uh, money won't bring you happiness. That's, that's the true lesson of this week, that you don't really need that much money to be happy. Would you guys like to know the secret to true happiness? If you'd like, I could actually tell you. I actually have the answer written down. It's on my fridge at home. I just write it down there just to remember. So if you want to know, let me know, okay? Um, so there we go. So again, that's the true lesson. Corruption, burglary, there we go. Again, uh, burglary we use as a noun. We say uh, there was a burglary yesterday, and you can think of a burglary. A burglary, it's not spelled right. A burglary would be when you uh, break into, it was a burglary, it's for houses only, isn't it? A burglary is when you break into someone's house, I believe. But a robbery would usually be a store or a bank, so there's a little difference there. So let me put that, a burglary. Okay, true, that's another crime. Arson, arson, when you set fire, so there's another one, there's a new word for you. Arson means to set fire set fire to something. So it's a collocation we use, and it basically means start a fire. So arson is the name of the crime. Okay, what else we got here? So we had arson, we had hijacking. Hijacking is when you steal something, a uh, vehicle. For example, people hijacked a plane, 9-11. You could hijack uh, a bus or a semi-truck or something like that. So hijacking is like stealing a vehicle uh, by force. Uh, what else we got here? Mm -hmm. Daniel, everybody knows Lula. Yes, I've heard. He's a famous politician who robbed, I don't know if we'd say robbed, but we say stole from, stole from the country. Yes, I've heard about this guy. Uh, Sylvia, I have talked about the decriminalization of cannabis. Okay, talked about it before. Environmental crimes, serial crimes against the environment, yeah. Um, I don't know what I would call those. Do we have a name for environmental crimes or are they just called environmental crimes? Let's check it out. Mm -hmm. Illicit activities, illegal trade. Okay. Uh, smuggling. Here's a new word for you. If you don't know this word, uh, smuggling. So smuggling is when, for example, you bring something to another country but that item is illegal. So of course, if I brought marijuana to maybe one of your countries, it's not legal, that's smuggling because I'm hiding it and I take it across the border. So smuggling, definitely a crime. Uh, environmental crimes, what else were there? I spelled environmental wrong. Yes, I did. Um, trade of hazardous waste, illegal, uh, no, 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 no. Logging, illegal logging. So cutting down trees illegally, another crime. Okay, so there's a few there. What else we got here? Why am I just talking about Brazil? Well, to, you know, let's, let's break it up and I'm giving a few examples. Uh, if you don't know Busy, Busy, where are you from? Because a lot of Brazilians are in this chat on Thursday. So if you're wondering why a lot of this is about Brazil, it's because there are so many Brazilians in the house. Uh, that's probably why. Um, ba, 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 what do we got next? Extortion lolly. Yeah, just change that spelling a little bit and then you got it. Extortion, I think you, you could consider that similar to blackmail, no? Extortion, you extort money from someone. Let's let's take a look here. I think you're right. Blackmail. Yep, exactly. Same word, different uh, s different different word, same idea. So it's a synonym. Syn synonym. Extortion. Boom. There it is. Okay, cool. Got that. Corruption all over the world. Yes, I agree. There definitely is. Uh, let's see, the police, yeah, okay. False pretenses, is that a crime, Lolly? I might get you, I might challenge you to Google that one. I understand false pretenses is like um, you do something under false pretenses, uh, but I don't know if it's a crime. Uh, dun, 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 extortion, yes, good topic today. Here, can we talk about, uh, we can talk about this a lot. There you go, all the Brazilians say, yeah, we can talk all day about that, right? Bribery. Uh, if you give your teacher a lot of money, you get a good score. You bribed your teacher, so the crime is bribery. 
I accept bribes. I'm, I'm very accepting. I'm very open to different laws. So if you bribe me with like coffee and chocolate, oh yeah, I'll give you like native speaker level. Like yeah, you, you got a level 10 or whatever it is and you're good to go. So always bribe your teacher with chocolate and coffee and those kinds of things. I, I approve of this kind of bribery. Um, what else we got today? Trespassing. There's another one. JB's in the house. What's up, JB? Trespassing is is when you so for example property over here and you walk into someone else's property, not your property. You are trespassing. That's the name of the crime. Very nice. Assault. Assault. You can think of attacking people. If you were attacking someone and you did that and you know you started f fighting with someone, but you you attacked that person, that would be an example of assault, right? Uh, mugging, yes, mugging is also a crime. So usually this one is when you have a knife or you have a gun and you walk up to someone and you say, hey, give me your money or I'll shoot you or, or stab you or whatever. Uh, mugging is another crime. Cybercrime, yeah, online crime, right? I'm sure there's some different examples of that. Um, dumping chemicals and waste in rivers and oceans. Yeah, let's see if that popped up in environmental crimes here. Dumping, illegal, I guess it would just be called Ill illegal dumping or something like illegal logging, unreported fishing, unregulated, la, 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 la. Okay, so yeah, I'm guessing that would be it. Illegal disposal or something like that. I'm sure they have a specific name. Indiscriminate log, okay, whatever. That's fine, yep. Um, Silvio, when we don't pay our taxes, I don't know the English name for this crime, it's called tax evasion. Evade is like avoid, so evasion. And it sounds almost similar, avoid, evade. Hmm. So tax evasion is when you don't pay your taxes and you avoid paying your taxes. Uh, let's see what else we got. Manslaughter. Yeah, so manslaughter is, is murder, killing a person, and it's a type of it. Uh, and there's different types of manslaughter. Uh, there's different, right, there's different levels of... So you have manslaughter, which I believe is like when you kill someone. You have preemptive murder when you think about killing someone and then you kill someone so preemptive murder and then you have I think you with manslaughter you also have involuntary like by accident basically involuntary manslaughter so manslaughter is you kill someone involuntary is it's totally by accident and so there's different degrees of those ones as well uh, Silvio's doing some Portuguese over there. Income tax, yeah, human trafficking. There we go. I'll just put trafficking because it, there's different kinds of trafficking. Uh, trafficking. So what's what's trafficking? It's kind of like buying and selling. So for example, there's human trafficking where you some people in the country they actually buy, steal, maybe steal humans and they sell them to other people, which is shitty. Uh, trafficking. Drug trafficking is the same thing. It's kind of like getting drugs and then selling. So trafficking is a general word for illegal selling. Um, there we go. Pretty dark. There we go. Loitering. There's a, there's a little one there. Loitering. I guess loitering is... Let's see here. Let me pull this one up. Is it a crime? Loitering. Standing or waiting around idly without purpose. I don't know if it's a crime loitering but anyways it's a word we can use so I'm gonna put it down here loiter is like teenagers loiter right they just kinda like hang around and you're like what are you doing here what do you do with your time so loiter is a verb which just means kind of what was the definition here stand or wait around with no purpose that's a teen that's what teenagers do right they loiter stand or wait around without purpose no idea what they're doing it's like oh let's just hang out alright whatever dude okay loiter Sexual harassment, yeah, I'll just put harassment here. Obviously, this is a big one, right? This is a serious, a serious crime. Um, let's put it up here. So there is a verbal harassment. There is sexual harassment. There's different types of harassment. So it's when you are bothering someone. If you were, if you're telling some, it's like kind of like bullying sometimes, right? Um, and that is bullying a crime. No, I don't think so. But harassment is a crime. So if you were saying something to someone you work with and saying bad things and bad things and bad things, somebody, that worker could call the police and accuse you of harassment. And that's a good word uh, we need to use for crimes. You accuse somebody. It's like, oh yeah, you did this to me. I'm saying that you did this to me. So I accused him of harassment or something like that, which basically means say that someone did something 
bad. There we go. That works. Uh, lots. Okay, there's a lot more. Uh, pickpocketing. Yeah. I'll tell you, when I was in Italy, I got pickpocketed. That, was, uh, that wasn't very fun. I felt really violated. There's a new word. It's like somebody stuck their hand into my shorts. Not there. The pocket. And they took my wallet. And I was like, damn it. I felt really violated. Like somebody went into my personal space, grabbed something of mine, and then went off of it. That was, uh, that was pretty traumatic at the time. I was pretty crazy when that happened to me. Uh, so pickpocketing is when somebody basically reaches into your, your pocket, takes your wallet, takes your cell phone, takes your money. It happens. Uh, I know it happens more in some places and less, than, but it happens. Um, domestic violence, there's another one. Domestic violence would be, for example, most commonly might be a guy who's hitting his wife, uh, kind of assaulting his wife, so we call it domestic violence. Somebody's being, well, I guess, it does, sorry, it doesn't have to be just a man and a woman. It could be, it could be a kid as well. A kid could be involved in this as well. Could happen the other way around, I guess, as well. Terrorism, yes, definitely. Obviously, the 9-11 attacks was a big example of terrorism, but I mean, I'm sure there's lots of other examples. When you go into another country and you start to attack that country, uh, Silvio says, in Brazil, in Brazil, another crime, which is very popular here, is, for example, if I sign up to do some testing like TOEFL, and put some professional to do it in my place. Oh, and hire. So the verb uh, you want to use is hire. You hire a professional to take your place. Um, take your place. Take someone's place. It means replace you. Like So for example, let's say my English is not so good, but this guy's English is amazing. So I'm going to give that guy some money. He's going to go do my test for me. So he's going to, I'm going to hire him to take my place and do my test. Um, pay someone to do something. Replay. And take someone's place is the same as replace. So that would be a phrasal verb. No? Take someone's place? I don't know. Collocation. No, it's an idiom. It's called an idiom. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, there you go. Uh, yep, so pickpocketing. Stole my wallet? Are you asking about my, my experience there, JB? Yeah, somebody stole my wallet in, uh, when I was in Italy. And I was, it was my fault because I knew that I needed to protect that a little bit more carefully, and I didn't. And so it was gone. Live and learn. Won't do that again. So now, I'll be honest with you, if you want to take a look, because of that incident, this is now my wallet. So I got my phone here, my old phone. And I got my cards in here. I got a few cards in here, and that is my my wallet. Um, so now everything's with me all the time. I know exactly where it is. Nothing in the back pocket because of that experience. Um, underage drinking. Yes, that is a crime. Underage mean you're not old enough to drink, and you're drinking on the street. Alcohol, obviously, that's a crime as well. Okay, there we go. Um, good, good, good. Underage driving. Yeah. Sure, underage drinking, underage driving, can't do either. Um, some people have done this. I might be one of those people where you kind of just like, you know, you borrow, borrow mom and dad's car, just go for a little drive somewhere just to get, you know, just to start getting used to driving because you're going to drive in, I don't know, one or two years later. So, yeah, just take it out, but technically still illegal. Okay, very good. So we've done a big list. So here are all the words that we use and of course there's more we haven't talked about everything but this is a pretty good list to start with a lot of different crimes that happen every day uh, so this is what we're gonna do now I'm gonna get you to go off into internet land and I would like you to do this I would like you to share with us uh, and learn some new vocabulary while you're doing this why am I not signed into this chat right now let's see here get come back here okay Sometimes technology messes with teachers and messes what's happening right now. There we go. So here we go. This is your activity. Please do this. This is your homework. Go to the internet and search most common crimes in your country. What did you learn? Okay. So I'm going to do that about Canada. I'm going to learn a few things about which crimes are the most common. And I'm going to use a few, I'm going to learn a few new words that we use in English to describe these crimes. A serial killer is a person. Let's put that in this list here. Uh, serial killer is somebody. Uh, Jack the Ripper, right? Charles Manson, these guys. So serial killers are people 
who plan and kill many people. We call them serial killers. Somebody made a really good joke that they were a serial killer the other day, but like cereal, breakfast cereal, very nice. It was a great joke. Teacher, teachers are proud of those bad jokes. Right? Very good. OK, so here we go. This is what you're going to do. Go to the internet. Search the most common crimes in your country and teach us something. I want you to tell us something about your country and we're going to share a little bit so you can say, oh yeah, this is my country and this is what happens here. Because it's good. All education is good education, I would say, most of the time. So let's see here. Most common. <laughs> where was it? Where was, it? Where was that? Oh, I, I got rid of it already. Canadian vandalism. That was uh, the one I had before, right? Your mother is a nice person. Canadian vandalism. All right, so let's take a look. Well, you guys, you guys do your thing. I'm going to do you do you, and I'll do me. Okay, that's a, that's a little thing that one of my coworkers says. You do you, I'll do me. Uh, most common criminal charges in Canada. Pardon of Canada. Okay, let's start here. Let's take a look. Let's see what kind of crimes are most common here. The ten most common criminal charges in Canada. All right, tell me, educate me. I don't want to apply. Here are the top 10 common offenses. So here's a new word for you, offenses. And offenses are, you can think of them the same thing as crime. Are they crimes? Are offenses crimes? It says, crim yeah, because we would normally say criminal offenses. So offenses or are another way to say crimes. If you're looking for a synonym, you can also say offenses. Uh, so offenses, crime. And it's a noun. Boom. All right, so let's see. Impaired driving. So here's uh, impaired drinking. So let me add this to the list. So this is, this is, we'll put this at the top here. Impaired driving, uh, underage, we had underage driving, but impaired driving, yeah, that's a common one for sure. Uh, drinking alcohol and then driving illegal. I believe that in Canada, the it's um, 0.8 is the limit. So basically, you can kind of have about one beer and then after that, you're not supposed to be driving. Ziad's in the house. What's up, Zia? There you are. We're waiting for you, buddy. Uh, okay, bringing in some some other ones. Yeah, we've talked about most. The other, the only one we didn't talk about that he brought was rape, and obviously that's a serious topic uh, when somebody sexually attacks someone um, without that other person's permission uh, against their will. So that's a new word for you, a new combination. If somebody does something against your will. Uh, you didn't agree to it. I didn't say yes, and somebody did something, so against someone's will. Um, what is that, against someone's will? I guess it's just a collocation, because it makes sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where are we here? Come back. One person didn't agree. Ooh, I'm not putting this in the student copy. Let me do that, because I'm putting this in my copy. So let me just copy this and take it and put it in here. Hopefully this doesn't mess you guys up. I don't know what you're doing, but let me put all of this in your copy. So you'll have a copy. There we go. Boom. And let's work from that. OK. Uh, so let's see here. What else we got here? Mohammed says, I think here in Egypt, the most common crime would be sexual harassment. OK. Lolly, in France, murder, rape, organized crime, corruption, Organized crime, I did not talk about that. So organized crime, you can think of that as mafia, right? Um, some groups, for example, in Japan, they have the Yakuza. And in, in, I don't know, I guess in a lot of other countries, maybe they just use the word mafia, like the Italian mafia or something like that. Organized crime, yep, there we go. Uh, kidnapping, did not do that. Stealing a person, you can steal a person, and it's called kidnapping. Um, sometimes I contemplate dog napping because, uh, you know, in Vancouver we have so many dogs everywhere. And they're really, really cute. And, so, and sometimes I'll walk by a person and I'm like, man, that dog's pretty cute. I was just considering some dog napping. It's all a joke. I'm not going to steal that dog. But I, I take her for a walk. I, I love dogs. I really like dogs. Uh, JB, petty crimes here. Snatching, robberies, burglaries. Okay, so nothing too serious. Good thing, right? Drug trafficking, yeah, we discussed that a little bit as well. we got a list right here. And there it is, and drug trafficking was on trafficking was on there as well. In Brazil we have PT. What is PT? PT, I'm not sure. Organized crime. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I think a lot of countries have organized crime as well, right? 
All right, let me get back to my list. I was looking at theft, okay? Stealing something, that's, there we go. That's one of the Canadian crimes. Fail to comply with order. So this would be, for example, maybe the police tell you to do something and you don't do it. So you fail to comply. So a lot of the crimes are just kind of like, they're kind of the really common ones, I guess, that happen all the time. Failure to comply. So there's a, a new one. So fail to comply. Fail to listen, right? Fail to comply. Collocation. Uh, to not do what you are told legally to do. Does that make sense? Failure to comply. Failure to understand. Uh, and I'm putting that in the wrong document again. Let me put that over here. Close you and keep you open. There we go. Okay, good. All good there. Um, <laughs> Daniel, Brazil, corruption, illegal drugs, organized crime, like PCC. What is PCC? Is it the name? Is it the name of some like drug mafia organization or something like that? Um, okay. Busy's out of here. Have a great day. Keep it busy, busy. Love that. Uh, slaughtering, that's a very strong word you're using there, uh, Ziad. Slaughter is like um, pretty, pretty strong. Um, is that an actual crime in your country? Slaughter is kill, uh, but it's usually like, for example, we use this word for like slaughter animals, right? Like when we, when we kill cows, we slaughter them and they go to a slaughter house where they get killed. So it, it just, or maybe it's just a bad sounding word in English. If you slaughter, it sounds pretty bad. Okay, so let's continue on my list. Common assault, we talked about assault, so I guess every, typical, whatever that is. Breach, breach of probation. Breach is when you kind of, uh, you break one of the rules. So breach, um, breach means to break a rule. Kind of like breaking a rule. Breach of probation. And probation is that period where you cannot do something. So if you're on probation, you, maybe you can't go to another province, you have to stay in the city, you have to call somebody so often, right? So a breach of probation would be like breaking the law of your probation. Um, so maybe I'll just put breach and probation separately. So probation would be a period of time and restricted freedom. Let's call it that. Not bad. Breach, you can think of as breaking, breaking certain rules. All right, how are we doing over here? Uh, first capital command, PCC, Primero Command. Yeah, I'm not going to speak for you. Oh, like a Yakuza. Okay, in Sao Paulo. There we go. So big group in Sao Paulo. Well, how about downloading movies illegally, like downloading from a torrent website? Yeah, technically that is <laughs> that is illegal. Obviously, you can tell I've done it. No, I didn't. Actually, that was a lie. That was just a joke. Please stay away from me, HBO. Uh, but yeah, it's a crime, right? Um, traffic violations. Okay, so there's another word, uh, violation. Uh, let me put that. Yeah, because traffic violations are crimes as well, right? So violate is like again break a rule or something like that so traffic violations running uh, running uh, we use that in English we say run the red right so if you uh, run a red light that means you broke the law run a red light so we always say that oh he ran he ran yeah you know, well, do you know sir do you know why I stopped you I stopped you because you ran that red light back there can I see your driver's license and registration? That's what they say. Um, go through. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else we got here? Um, according to the internet, the most common crimes visitors face are extortion by law enforcement officials. Wow. Interesting. Um, Daniel, bought Blu-ray without tax at the border of Paraná with and Paraguay. Okay, so there we go, maybe another crime. Illegal purchase or something like that, illegal purchases. 
Uh, okay. No, all right. So we got a lot. Road rage. Road rage is not. Uh, we can put that on there. It's not a crime officially. It's just when people get super angry because they are on the road and you know it's frustrating. So road rage is um, is when becoming super, becoming very angry because of road road. We'll call it road problems. Road rage. Road problems. Okay. All right, let me continue on my little list here. Major assault. Sure, so a big assault. Uttering threats. Okay, so again, even threats like, hey, I'm going to kill you, that's a crime. Uh, so is that the technical name? Uttering threats? It doesn't sound like a crime, but I'm not sure. Drug possession, having drugs. Mischief, getting into trouble. Um, so there's another one. I don't know if it's a crime, but I'll put that word here. Mischief. And we say mis we don't say mischief, we say mischief. I don't know why. It's just weird pronunciation. Mischief is just kind of general, getting into trouble. All right, there we go. And fraud. Okay, boom, there we go. Lots of it. All right, so there we go. We got all that. Crimes in Canada, incident-based crime statistics, detailed violate. Oh, Statistics Canada. This is like a government website where they tell us a lot of information about what were the crimes that happened. So let's take a look at Canada in a little more detail. Because we're known as kind of a friendly place, but let's see what kind of crime. Of course we have crimes, so let's see what happens. Okay, this is a little too detailed for me. I like big pictures. Crime in Canada, statics, statistics and facts. Mm -hmm. No, too detailed for me. I just want a general look, just to look at a few things. Hate crimes. Ooh, there's a new one. Didn't think about that. A hate crime. So, for example, if you say, like, oh, I don't like Chinese people, and you start writing, you, let's say you write that on a wall, or you do something to show Chinese people that you don't like them, that would be considered a hate crime. Um, so you're basically showing a group, some kind of group, that you don't like them. Hate crime. Don't do any of these things, because they're not good. Religious offense, interesting. Um, I don't know. I don't know. In Canada, we don't have such a crime. Maybe there's a hate crime involved in there. Um, parole violation would be similar to, what did we have here? Uh, probation, via breach of probation or something like that. Parole violation would be similar. Okay, so there we go. Using that little bit to talk about crimes there. So what I think we'll do, let's do a few discussion questions, and then if we have a little bit of time, we might do some idioms. So let's start with this. I want to get you guys uh, to give an opinion on this and use any of the vocab that we've learned today and use it in your answer. So let's start with this. What are some ways to reduce crime in society? This is like an IELTS question or a TOEFL question, but it's a, it's a good question. What do you guys, what is your opinion? So again, give a, give a good answer. Explain your answer. Why do you think it's like this? What are some ways to reduce crime in society? Laws, education, give us your opinion. Use your country as an example, and then we'll get into a little discussion. I'm going to throw a few discussion questions out here because it's an interesting topic. So let's have a chat about it, and let's see what you think. What needs to be done to do that? What are some ways to reduce crime in society? I'm going to do a little research because I like research. How to reduce crime in society. Ooh, big one. It's been Googled before. Somebody has, so there must be answers out here. 24, ooh, The Guardian. I like The Guardian. It's a British newspaper, and they're kind of good. 24 ways to reduce crime in the world's most violent cities. Let's see what they say. 24 ways to reduce crime in the world's most violent cities. Uh, violent crime is deeply entrenched, deeply inside some developing countries, particularly in Latin America. Our experts offer, give these solutions to bringing down high rates of crime. So let's see what they say. Uh, treat violence as a public health concern. I'm going to put the I'm going to put these ideas in the chat as well. So after you guys give a few answers. Uh, maybe I'll put some of these ideas in the chat and we can discuss those ones as well. So let's see, let, we'll see what you guys said first and then maybe we'll jump to this and see what this one says. JB says, laws, education, stronger law enforcement, higher fines and harsher punishment. Okay, so the real like punishment 
uh, is going to be one of the solutions. I don't know. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to, just for the sake of argument, I might go on the other side. Look at the United States. They have uh, the death penalty. Like, let me put that in. Like, you, if you do some serious crimes, you can be put to death. So we call it the death penalty. And I don't know if this, if this, uh, this solution helps you know, prevents anything more. Maybe there's something else going on. I don't know. It's a, the, for me, the United States is a curious case. Uh, they, they have such high rates of crime, and you look at Canada just across the border, and it's quite different. The, you know, there's some cultural differences as well. There's probably some difference in the laws, especially with the gun laws. Um, yeah. Killing someone in prison. No, killing someone for their terrible crimes. All right, so let's see what else we got here. Daniel, give the give Brazil, uh, give the Brazil to another people to control us. Like Japan, <laughs> there you go. Give Brazil to Japan and the Japanese who are they I'm sure they don't have huge crime rates, right? Like Japan, our politicians don't have solutions to control our money. Okay. So just give ownership of your country to another country and the, the nice country will figure out your stuff and deal with it. There you go. Uh, what else we got here? Nor educate people and appoint them morally and lowly and satisfy their desires. I agree with the educate part. That makes sense to me, right? More education means better decisions in life and better decisions in crime. Appoint them morally. I don't know what you mean by appoint them, Nor. You might have to change that word and satisfy their desires. If you mean like give them a better life or something like that, then I can, you know, I can kind of understand that idea a little bit as well. What else we got here? Discipline, okay? So who's discipline? Is it parents giving discipline? Is it schools? Is it, you know? Lolly, don't leave kids alone. So the parents have to work less, maybe. So maybe it's a parent thing. Ah, that's a tough one, right? Because yeah, it's probably part of it, right? You know, kids need, need, um, need some guidance. Um, but at the same time, who are the parents? Are the parents doing a good job, right? That's, but yeah, it could be, right? Um, education's a big one, right? So if everybody has a better education, people make better decisions. I think like pregnancy rates and stuff in diff different countries go down a lot when the education goes up as well. Um, Mohammed, make the punishment stronger and educate the children. Yeah. I don't know, yeah, it's a tough one. Um, I'm gonna recommend something for you guys. I don't know if you guys are, I'm slowly getting into them. Uh, podcasts. Podcasts are interesting, right? You just sit there and it's a good way for you guys to learn English as well. And there's podcasts about everything these days. So it's just you sit there and listen to 25 minutes, one hour, whatever you want to do about a podcast. And there's a podcast called, is it Ear Hustle? Yeah, this one's interesting. So this is a podcast about prison life. So basically, there's a couple people who are in prison right now, and they do this podcast, I don't know if it's every week or whatever, but they do some interesting topics um, about subscribe, right? So you can just download it. So if you have uh, any podcast um, application, you can download it. You know, they talked about um, everything. They talked about uh, homosexuality in prison and the changes that have happened there. They talk about prison life and what's it like. So it's a really a range of topics. Interesting podcast. So if you're into podcasts, maybe check that out if you if you wanna you wanna hear what it's like living in prison in, in the USA. That would be an interesting one. Uh, what else we got here? Zia, simply enforce the law. Oh wait, I think I skipped one here. No, 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 no. Where are we here? Uh, do, 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 do. Daniel. 98% has an education in their country, in Japan. 98% of people have an education. So there you go. Maybe that's a big part of it, right? Educate people, give them, a, you know, people, people need a range of ideas. They need a lot of different ideas coming at them, not just one group saying, hey, you gotta do this, hey, you gotta do that. Get as many ideas as possible. Most education is good education, I think. The more you get different ideas, the more you get different perspectives about how to live life. Uh, so always get different opinions, try different stuff, challenge yourself every day. That's the real lesson of this week. Silvio, in my view, the best solution to decrease
crimes in Brazil is to improve education. I will give two reasons to support my opinion. My opinion, okay. Uh, number one, this will put children in schools and they won't be on the streets. Uh, the other one is because everyone needs knowledge. No, the, just knowledge to be a good person and make better good choices in their lives. Like doing the TOEFL test. Ha ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> good luck, buddy. Good luck with the TOEFL test. Uh, but yeah, that's good. TOEFL test is good. It's education and you're challenging yourself to improve yourself in the future, work, all that stuff. Um, that's a good thing. Gloria. In Mexico, civilians don't have the right to bear arms. Only the military can. Yeah, and I think this is one of the things with the United States, right? They have a lot of gun violence because it's not that difficult to go out and get a gun. So this is part of it. And I don't know why, but some Americans that love their guns are just like, no, you're not going to take my gun away. And maybe part of the problem is because there is so much violence, they're like, no, I have to protect myself. But uh, it seems to be a big problem over there with, with the guns, right? Because too many people, like, the, you have these mass shootings that are happening in the USA. Get rid of the guns, man. Get rid of them. Seems to be like, just get them out of the house. And one of the things I think they talk about is, uh, is um, shootings in the house, right? Like, like, kids find guns and they play with them and boom, accidentally shoot somebody. Get them out of the bloody country, man. They shouldn't be there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what else we got? Uh, Mohammed said, what is the best crime action movie you watch? Okay, totally different topic. Best crime. So best crime movie for me is probably the Godfather movies. Uh, it's about mafias, right? It's a fictional story about uh, different, a crime family. Um, and it's, uh, it's really cool because they did two movies a long time ago in the 70s. And then years later, many years later, they did the third movie, I think, in the 90s. And it's the same actors, Al Pacino. Check it out. There's three movies. It's, it's a marathon, but I think you will like it. It's, it's, just, it's a well-done movie with good actors. So I'd say Godfather. Where else we at here? Um, Gloria, to avoid mass shootings, don't let citizens purchase any kind of gun makes sense right get rid of the guns there will be less maybe less incidents overall Daniel in Brazil we don't have guns huh? we don't have guns but maybe not and but we have crimes with guns smiley face JB I have no sympathy for victims of gun violence who happen to be gun nuts they deserve it yeah, it's hard to say because, you, like I said, you know, sometimes you got, yeah, you got a gun nut for sure. But in the house, there's little kids. So they're not gun nuts, but just it's because of the father. So it's, it's, a, it's a tough thing. But I, just get rid of the guns, man. You know, who needs guns? I don't know. Just fight. Fight the old-fashioned way. You know, like someone go fight them. Fight them with your fists. That might be a little bit less, less bad. Um, guns, guns, guns. Mariam. Educate parents to know parenting skills, to learn parenting skills. Usually you know people and you learn skills. Learn parenting skills and enrich environments to avoid antisocial behavior. Good idea. Parents need to educate as well. But again, I guess connected to that, parents need to be educated as well. Um, I grew up in a small town in, uh, in Canada, so I had a real limited perspective. And now I'm in Vancouver and I hang out with people, lots of different people every day. I, you know, I hang out with Brazilians every day, I Japanese, Korean, uh, Mexican, um, Saudis, you know, Italians, a lot of people from around the world. And this is the most useful thing. I think I, I, the, the thing I, one of the things I enjoy most about my job, probably the most, is that I get to hang around with cool people from around the world and I get different perspectives on a daily basis. So I don't try to, you know, put you in this box as much as like no let's think about that oh you guys do this arranged marriage oh okay why do you do that try to understand it don't just be like wow that's crazy I would never let my mother choose someone for me but you try to understand that person's perspective which is much better so be an open book learn something new every day challenge yourself challenge your ideas every day that's another lesson for the week um okay so there we go Rodrigo's in the house what's up buddy good day mate how are you yeah you're doing all right hey hey there we go, a little Australian for you. Lord of War. Don't know, never seen that, but there you go. There's another movie you can check out, Lord of War. 
Uh, JB, but yes, to lower crime, I think education and welfare programs are needed, probably. Education seems to be key, right? I think uh, a lot of countries who have better education, you can see certain certain numbers go down. Maybe, maybe to you know, I don't know if it has to do with population or maybe it has to do with just you know just. And I think education is getting perspectives. It's getting different ideas from around the world, and that's a good. It's a better way to make decisions when you have you know different ideas coming out. You're not just one idea saying, hey, everybody in this group is doing that. You should do that too. Get different ideas talk to different people, get different perspectives. Um, Rodrigo also hates guns? Good. Um, Marjorie, the government has to invest in education because in Peru, uh, the Congress and the President invest, to other, invest in other things like football, uh, making, new, making new holidays. Sports are good, but there's other problems to solve. The NRA believes that more guns are needed to lower mass shooting. Yeah, the NRA is nuts, right? The Nuts Rifle Association. Uh, Silvio, which is more multicultural, Toronto or Vancouver? Good question. Probably pretty similar. Uh, Vancouver is quite multicultural. We get so many. I mean, but Toronto is too. They get lots of tourists. I've seen, I've, I think I've noticed more, a lot more Europeans in Toronto than Vancouver. Um, but I think they're both pretty, pretty multicultural. Uh, there we go. Narim, instead of building jails and rehabilitation associations or centers or something like that, just grant people, give people the money to stop stealing, murdering. Hmm. So some kind of welfare program, giving some money so there's no need to get into other stuff. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, that that definitely could be part of the solution as well. I'm not too sure. It's a, it's an interesting topic, and I mean, I'm sure I'm sure the more you read about, it, the more you'll get different perspectives of what countries are doing. Uh, but yeah, so that's an interesting one there. All right, so I think I've done my job for the day, and I do have a meeting to get to today. So I'm going to have to leave you guys early. As much as I'm liking this discussion and talking about it, uh, good stuff today. Good little. I like getting into the discussion part. That's pretty cool too. Um, I was going to suggest something. I don't know if you guys can do this, but I can see everybody's got your name. You got your little chat name, and I can see, I can see Lolly Lolly, and I can see Muhammad. But not a bad idea. I don't know if you guys could do that, but if you could put your chat name, uh, I might suggest that you do this with your chat name, because it's cool to get. It's cool to know where the perspectives are coming from. There's a lot of students in this chat, and I can't, I can't remember all. You know, sometimes I see a name like, oh, that's a Brazilian name, but it might be cool if you could do that. Put maybe put your name and put which country you're from next to your name. That would be cool if you can do that, and that way we can always kind of participate. Like, oh, you know, what do you? So, is it possible to do that? Is it possible to change your screen name instead of like, you know, I, otherwise you'd have to introduce yourself every time? Is it possible for you to just go Kent with your screen name in the chat and then put Canada in there? I wonder if that would be possible because that would be cool, and then we can kind of like, oh, you're from there. Interesting. What do you do there? Anyways, just a thought. Uh, you guys feel free to do that because if one person was able to do it, then maybe other people would start doing it. And then we can just go, oh, you're from Peru. Tell me about Peru. Boom. Good way. But anyways, or maybe I just have a bad memory and I'm trying to reconcile my bad memory. Either way, that's it for me today. I got to run. I got a meeting to go to. Great chat today. Good discussion. I have to have a few more of those as well. The topic was crime today. I hope you guys enjoyed that lesson. Uh, always love hanging out with you guys. Big heart, big hugs to you guys over there. Have yourselves a great day. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to check out Kareem's Dream Stream. I've given it that nickname because it is a dream stream on Wednesdays at 3 p.m. And I'm back Monday at 3.30 p.m. All of this Vancouver time. You know the drill. Keep it smart. Love you very much. Get rid of the guns. Have a great week. Bye-bye, everybody.
second. Now let me explain. See, I'm not trying to take you down. I'm trying to take away pain. Try my best to refrain from being the same as all these other low lowlifes that probably don't remember your name. And all your exes sitting left, I'm trying to home run. Trying to make you happy, make a difference in the long run. So trust me when I say I'm swollen shut. I'm spilling out my heart because you open.